Kanye West has reportedly set his sights out east and is planning a trip to meet with President Vladimir Putin as he expands his business empire in Russia. The 46-year-old rapper will also perform his first-ever show in Moscow with his Christian Sunday service gospel, likely at the Crocus City Hall Theater or the Grand Sports Arena where much of the 1980 Olympic Games were held. West is looking forward to making Russia a second home as sources told Billboard that Kanye, a longtime supporter of Putin, deflected issues with strict travel sanctions between Russia and the United States as tensions rise amid a conflict with Ukraine. Kanye's strategic advisor, Amir Sedan, and lawyer, Scott Balber, are coordinating the trip. Balber's also acting as a liaison for his clients, Azerbaijani Russian billionaire real estate developer Aras Agalarov and his son Iman Agalarov. The father of four plans to invite Putin to attend the gospel performance as a special guest, and the performance is something he's been wanting to do since he debuted the Sunday Service Project in 2019. The U.S. Department of State listed Russia under the Level 4 Do Not Travel Advisory on November 2 due to the embassy's limited ability to assist U.S. citizens in Russia, COVID-19 and related entry restrictions, terrorism, harassment by Russian government security officials, and the arbitrary enforcement of local law. This is Yi. He is going to get there regardless, strategic advisor Amir Sudan told the publication. What are they going to say? He is going to be a special guest of the Agalarovs. Kanye knows what's going on more than the average human being, he's well aware of things. And it's nothing against the United States or to cause conflicts, but he is ye, he can't be controlled. West who recently changed his moniker to Yi, has been a fan of the controversial figure for a while, and even called himself a young Putin during an interview on the Drink Champs podcast. He told hosts Nore and DJ EFN, Culture is an oil, culture is an energy, and I'm the king of culture for the past 20 and the next 2000 years. Making matters more interesting, Russia is currently at the center of rising tensions after the White House gave a statement last month that President Biden had voiced the deep concerns about the buildup of Russian forces near the Ukrainian border, 